Hi there, my name is Kunneberg and welcome to my channel. This is a film review of Tin and Tina. Uh, it says it's a horror, but I will put it more as a suspense kind of film, maybe a thriller, I don't know. It came out in 2023, um, it's rated 15 in Netflix, it's not in IMDb as a rating. Um, it's only in um, Netflix, therefore there's no Amazon rating, so it's a 4.7. Uh, it's an hour and 59 minutes. I'll kind of read the IMDb synopsis. After a tragic miscarriage, Lola and her husband Adolfo adopt Tin and Tina, a lovely brother and sister with an ultra-Catholic education that makes them interpret Holy Bible verbatim. Um, so the director is Ruben Stein, who directed Nero. Producers, there's five of them, so I'll pick the main one. Um, and I will spell this afterwards. Olmo, Figueredo, Gonzalez, Quivedo. Uh, o L M O F I G U E R E D O G O N Z A L E Z dash Q U E V E D O, who produced The Endless Trench. And music was by Jocelyn Pook, P O O K, who did Eyes Wide Shut. The cast we have Milena Smith, S M I T, who was Lola, who was also in Cross the Line as Mila. Jamie Laurent, um, L O R E N T E, who was Adolfo, who was in Gun City as Leon. Carlos Gonzalez Morolon, M O R O L L O N, who was Tin, who was in Father There Is Only One as Danny. And Anastasia Russo, who was Tina. And she was in My Fault as Noah Nina. And it was filmed in Seville in Andalusia, Spain. Um, so it's Spanish. Um, but when you start it up on Netflix, it defaults instantly to your chosen language, which is English. Um, which is dubbed. Now, for me, I prefer watching films in their original language. It's just the way I like to watch films. I always have done. So uh, for me, I stuck it on Spanish with subtitles. But again, like I say, it's up to you. Now in the trailer it starts with them getting married, uh, as in out on the church steps, um, and it, that is literally the beginning of the film, they're getting married. And it's, I think it's 1991, something about the, on the news about a shooting in Parliament or something, I haven't got a clue because I don't know anything about Spanish politics, I don't know anything about British politics either, especially not from 1991. I do know we've got some inept people in, in government, but there you go, doesn't everybody. Um, so. The credits kick in eventually, and got this haunting kind of music. It's quite nice actually, in a weird sort of way. Now it's a good thing I'm listening to this uh, with subtitles, because we're at the convent, right, and Adolfo is talking to the nun about adopting babies. But I didn't hear any of that. I was walking with um, with the wife, who was, um, you know, um, what's her name, um, me, uh, Lola, and um, you didn't hear any of that. I just read it. I was like, oh, okay. So of course they want to get adopted. So the 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 old emotional blackmail kicks in. Works every time, and it did. It works. So they're, they're driving home, listening to some kind of pop music in the car. It's, it's not like the kind of no kind of pop music, but something from like a childhood kind of thing. So it's like a really fun thing for kids to listen to. Uh, but they had to turn it off because the said, kids said it was satanic and I thought, hmm, good thing they never had any black metal on the drive of a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, God hell. So, um, Tina um, tells, tells Lola, the mother, uh, there's a good way to see God. And uh, Tin says, yeah, I, I, I want to see, I want to see. So she's watching this Lola. So... Th he basically, she basically sticks a plastic bag over his head to suffocate him, and then he sees God, thinking, hmm. <laughs> Pretty sure I've never seen that in the local church. <sighs> of course, there's a school bully. It's got to be a bully. And he's a large kid with four smaller kids doing his work for him, like minions. Oh, and he's stand, standing there laughing while the kids are doing everything for him. Um, this this bit which 
it was like, what the hell am I watching? I, did, I thankfully I didn't see all of it, but oh my, it was the intent. It was how they thought they were doing good at cleansing the dog's soul. It was pretty grim to say the least. <laughs> Just, it's like, what the fuck? Here's some top tips if you want to see drawings that your kids did that might incriminate themselves and you don't want them knowing what you've seen them. So if it's in a book, say a Bible, for example, it could be in a storybook, but usually a Bible, um, maybe when you've looked at them, you put them back in exactly the same pages. Um, you don't want to sort of keep them aside because I'm pretty sure they'll notice they're missing because they're quite large pieces of paper, like card. Oh, and don't let the other parent rip them to pieces. I, I think they would notice that as well. <laughs> some parts are so intense. Jeez. So the, they're both trying to give us some milk. The um, the mother, Lola. Um, she's she's pregnant at this point. I can't explain why. Well, I can, obviously. <laughs> um, but she kept her mouth closed. So Tin said, well, oh, we need another way to feed the baby brother. So he grabs a hypodermic needle. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> just like, what the f? <sighs> here's, here's, here's a Q&A question. So it's a thunderstorm with lightning. Absolutely belling it down outside. You can't see anything. It just looks like... <sighs> and all that lot. The TV's having some kind of reception issues. Do you maybe turn it off? Read a book? Do a board game it perhaps? Would you climb onto the roof to fix the aerial? Hmm. Oh, and now we have flickering lights. Of course, I watched that in the dark and then had a migraine as usual. No one chipped over, though. Um. Well, what an ending, eh? I, I wasn't as expected at all. It was a bit slow in parts. Like I say, it's more a thriller. Or, you know, suspense-type film than a horror, I'd say. Music was great. It was very moving. And the end credits was fantastic. I'd, I'd love to find the soundtrack if I can. I don't know. Uh, they all acted very well. Kept me watching. Some parts were like, what the hell moments. Um, I'm giving it a six. I, I kind of liked it. And I think the reason why people might have given it a low rating is because, sadly to say, it's a foreign film. Um, but I've seen a lot of foreign films that are very good. And this is the thing. Just because it's not in English, as in American or British doesn't mean it ain't going to be good. There's a lot of good films out there. A lot. Um, I mean, if you, if you want dubbed, put dub on, but I prefer the original the voices. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching and listening to this uh, film review of Tin and Tina. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, leave a comment in the comment box below if you've seen this film. Um, did you like it? Okay, well, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>